This is probably the most expensive cake I ever had. We paid $36 for it. And it's around 100 gram. Morning Perf Spotters. It's nine o'clock and already heating up. It's super hot right now. We're on the way to the awesome cafe. I have no idea if it's really awesome, but we'll check it out. Afterwards, we're heading to Chinatown and to the Garden Spider Bay. Today is the day to the famous Garden of the Bay. See you there. Shh. That was our plan. So we had our bags packed with the camera, a city map and sunscreen and found our way through the heat to the awesome cafe. The awesome cafe is a great place to eat. Funny things on the wall, different lamps, quotes written on the walls and serving great breakfast. The awesome cafe was really awesome and now we're off for Chinatown. With our bellies filled with good food, we were back on the streets. This right behind me is the Maxwell Food Center. The Maxwell Food Center is a bit chaotic. A lot of different food styles, but you'll find great traditional Asian cuisine there. Chinatown is a great experience to walk through. The street vendors and the, the lanterns hanging over the streets, a great exotic experience. To try it. You'll find mooncakes in different prices and different fillings. This one was with the durian fruit and I was excited to try it. If you're looking for a free city bike, there it is. We are on our way to the Bay Gardens. Carefully. No durian fruits allowed in the train. So 
we made our way to the gardens by the bay, looking for a comfortable spot to eat that cake. This is probably the most expensive cake I ever had. We paid $36 for it. And it's around 100 gram. It's the moon cake. This is how it looks like. Super excited to taste it. It's nearly falling apart. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Very strong, unique taste. I cannot eat the whole cake. It's this moon cake, super expensive. In my case, absolutely disgusting. Like I said, there are mooncakes with different kind of fillings. This one with durian fruit was really not my taste. We are in the shopping center of uh, Marina Bay right now. Check this out. The Marina Bay Sands shopping center is an impressive one. A lot of different shops, but you should know most of them are the really expensive ones. So we found a restaurant where we could see from the outside how they were cooking dim sum and we had to try it. Look at those huge meringues. This is the Science Museum. This is the Superhero Cafe. Get your coffee in Superhero Room. I come in to save ya. I come in to save ya. I come in to save ya. For this evening we want to see the light show and it should be right here, they said it's right here from the event plaza, you see on the lake uh, the light show. Waiting for the light show we had another coffee with a muffin in the Beanstro coffee shop. As I'm planning to fly the drone tomorrow, there are different spots you are not allowed to fly in Singapore. Like the courtyard, the parliament house, the Itzana. Itzana right over here. And it's not allowed to fly over 200 feet or um, over crowds. The night came in and we were ready for the light show.
The light show was impressing and afterwards we enjoyed the open stage in front of the Marina Bay Sands and slowly strolled towards home. We had a fantastic day, started with the awesome cafe, went to the Chinatown and in the end the light show. See you tomorrow guys. Yeah. Wow, look at this LED screen, huge. No, I